ready? All right. Um, you know, another disappointing loss. And, uh, you know, I'm going to turn on the film tonight. And uh, I'm going to see a lot of the same mistakes that we made in, an, in another loss, uh, you know, earlier this year. And uh, I tried to head it off uh, as best I could. I obviously didn't get it done. Uh, about our team, you know, in controlling our emotions and executing. And, you know, you don't win games by, uh, you know, being all psyched up or, you know, just being irrational. You know, just it, it comes down to disciplined execution. I tried uh, like hell uh, to to beat that into our heads and to uh, play winning football in all areas. And when you continuously hurt yourself with penalties, turnovers, you know, missed assignments, not make plays, you know, I'm obviously not getting through to them. So, uh, you know, I understand, um, you know, what winning football looks like and I, and I know what it doesn't look like. And uh, we certainly uh, didn't do that today and I'm very disappointed in, in myself and our staff uh, for not getting this team ready and uh, I have to do a better job. I can promise you it wasn't for a lack of effort and uh, you know so I need to uh, challenge them some more. I need to uh, call upon some some leaders on the team and and, uh, and hopefully um, you know get some help in, in some different areas and some and have some guys step up because we could play winning football I've told you many times, you guys have seen it, we have to play very good. We have to play complimentary football. Um, we have to do things right to win games no matter who you're playing. I think you see that across this league and uh, very clearly um, that wasn't winning football uh, with the penalties and uh, the turnovers and missed assignments and basic stuff that again, it's gonna go back to a, a loss that we had earlier in the year. It's going to look very similar in a lot of ways. So obviously that's not very good on my part to let that happen again. Again, I can promise you I tried like heck uh, not to let that happen. Mark, we talk so much about the positive momentum since that South Carolina game. Did you see signs of this during the bye week, or did you feel like you were still continuing that? Over the last two weeks? No, I really didn't. I think you know since week two, our guys have you know, gone about it in a business-like approach. You know, it comes down to doing things right. And, and nobody's gonna be perfect, but we're striving to be and do, you know, and, and we've been playing some good football. And uh, we go back to playing non-winning football today. And that's very frustrating on all of us. Uh, unbelievably amazing environment, great support, um, you know, beautiful night and, uh, you know, we go play like that. It's uh, it's it's very frustrating, and uh, you know, obviously, I got to do a lot better job. Mark, that you've been able to move the ball offensively, but the red zone and scoring touchdowns has been an issue all year. Uh, tonight, that why is there is there a common theme? Is there anything? Well, well penalty, you know, really killed us tonight. You know, it's one, you know, one, and then. You know, we still should have came with, with, with at least three and, you know, dropped that one. So that's obviously the very frustrating. But to have the ball at the half-yard line and come away with zero points, it comes down to discipline, you know, getting a, getting a penalty and um, getting uh, back, backed up and uh, not converting. So, um, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know if I could point it to any one thing, just uh, – you know, just uh, lack lack of execution in, in critical moments. You know, and you know, I think when you're a play caller, and you know, it's probably a, a, a fine line when we're getting it down in there. When you're when you're hammering it and pounding it and getting some good yards, do you you know call the shots? Do you you know run it? You know, and uh, you know, if we could have that one back over again, we would we would uh, you know get under center and. and Sneak the thing. We've been pretty efficient with that. Mark, did you consider taking the offsides penalty right before that that you declined? It was I think they got offsides on on the Gavin uh, carry, so it would have been first and goal at the three versus second and goal at the one. 
it was the ball was on the six inch line, you know. So, um, yeah, they, I don't, I don't, you know, the ball was on the six inch line. I, I guess I, I don't even. I mean, probably. I guess we we should have. In hindsight, I think we're going to get under center and sink the ball right in the end zone. We get we got. I want to say two or three yards on that play. So it still would have been instead of being at the six inch line or four inch line. It would have been at the one and a half or whatever, too. I felt like we could get four inches, five inches, six inches, whatever that was. Mark, Mark you, felt you like guys have struggled that. to find a way to get some explosive plays at times in a couple of different games. You got some against Ole Miss. What do you think you guys have to do to be able to break some of those off? Well, I think getting in a rhythm and you know getting plays. We knew going into this game that possessions we're going to be at a premium. I don't have the final stat line. I think we had six at half. I'm not sure. There's not many possessions in this game. With the way they possess it, you know, I'm just looking at the final. I just got a quick copy here of the stats. But, you know, we have 23 first downs. That's pretty good. You know, they usually have a boat load, too, because of the way they move it. And they had 19, we had 23. But they obviously made the most. And, scored some points and we came away with some a, a goose egg in the, in the red zone there and we also fumbled in the high red uh, didn't help us as well so um, you know as bad as we played we still had uh, we still had opportunities Mark it felt like a lot of the big momentum shifting plays were on special teams tonight the field goals the extra points some of the uh, penalties on punt return what did you see out of those groups yeah um, very uncharacteristic and uh, frustrating you know, I felt like um, Barryon had the big kickoff return, and uh, um, you know, I think he's going to be kicking himself because I felt like one cut and he might have had a touchdown there. You know, but that's ifs and buts. I'm still grateful he got it out to the 50. And then on the punt return, he had a great return, a big spark when we needed it, and we had a foolish penalty. Just there, there, there's no excuse for it, and. You know, it's it's a young man that uh, plays very hard. That's a freshman that was uh, away from the ball and uh, was a foolish penalty and a very costly one. Mark, it seems like in the last couple of weeks you guys have been able to get off the field on third down, but tonight this that just wasn't the case. What do you think went wrong there? I think it was uh, they kept them. I think I, I don't. I see was. Uh, I see the final statistics here. Eight of thirteen. But I would imagine if you looked at that, a lot of the the ones that converted were pretty reasonable. Probably three or less. You know, and, could, and they do a nice job with their offense of executing. You know, I, 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 I bet you our number was pretty high. If it was five, six, seven, eight. You know, we had we had some critical stops in some critical moments. I felt like, um, you know, later in that game. But again, we put ourselves in a bad position. How would you assess how the defense played overall tonight? It's one of those games where it's frustrating. You know, they do a nice job. We knew that going into it. We knew possessions were going to be key. Um, you know, you, you you hold them to 20. I think that part's pretty good. But um, there was clearly some frustrating yards in there. And, and as you mentioned there, you know, some critical first downs that are hard, that they keep you off balance, that they do a nice job of converting. And, uh, you know, Pavia, you know, is a playmaker. and does some really good things, and he's been doing it all year. Mark, how are conversations with Dane Key when you have a game with 11 receptions, 83 yards, but penalty and then the fumble and just some plays that kind of cost you? I think, you know, um, you know, it's just it's just like the whole team. I mean, I talked and talked, you know, uh, clearly uh, tried to, um, you know, get our players to control their emotions and, and be disciplined in in what we were doing you know on defense it's the eye discipline you know in, in control of our eyes you know because of all the deception and the fallback plays and, the, and all the different you know option different things they do you know that we had to be very clued into um and then you know just overall as a team uh, i i knew you know i think the guys were excited and you know coming off a, a, a big win and coming and playing at home and uh you know i think you know, you asked me that question last week, Mark, about the, you know, playing at home, you know, and that, I, it's a fair question, and I've looked at it too, you know, and, and thought about it and talked to the guys and talked to them about coming here and, and, and having our, 
composure, having our control. You know, and I told, I talked to them about it openly. Like, what is it, man? Is it like no distractions? Do we have a lot of people coming in? Do you have ticket problems? Do you have, you know, all, like whatever it is, like put it away and dial in and, and commit to doing the things necessary to win in this game. And, you know, obviously I didn't do a good enough job, you know, but I tried addressing that and addressing all of it about really focusing and being disciplined and, and you know, like I said, the emotion, you know, doesn't win your games. You know, execution, discipline, execution wins your games. Mark, it looked like you had a long discussion with the official before you called the timeout to challenge him on the third quarter. What exactly happened in that situation? Well, I was trying to buy time to see, you know what I mean, if they were going to look at it, but they were telling me they couldn't get a clear view why they didn't buzz it in. And my guys upstairs thought that I that it was a fumble. And um, so, you know, I was buying time in our discussion, and then ultimately I got feedback that I should. And so uh, I did. I felt like that was a pretty critical moment. Ended up with three there, but, you know, it was, it was critical time in the game. Mark, I understand it's easy to cherry pick stats, but when you look back at it and Maryland's averaging almost 12 yards a carry, but he only gets three touches, you kind of mm -hmm. like, we just should have worked yeah. in more. Yeah, I think um, overall rushes what we have today, 31, you know, and a lot of them are going to be Brock and different, but, you know, I think it just just depends. I mean, Jamarion is a very good player. We're bringing him along. I'm happy with him. He does run very good, but there's a lot of other things that go into it. Mark, this week there was a big emphasis on getting on the board first, especially against a team like Bandy. Why does the offense have a slow, sluggish start from – Consistently this year, especially against teams like. Uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, that first one, you know, we we had a pretty good chance to get points, and we got a stupid penalty. You know that that didn't help, and uh, you know that I believe was that was that the opening drive. Yes, opening yeah. drive. Yes. Yeah. You know, and we were in four down territory right there. I'd already told them. You know, and uh, so you know that again, we we didn't play winning football today. Bottom line. You know, whether it was first drive or last drive, we didn't play winning football. We had, a, uh, we were not very, uh, you know, smart in any way, and um, you know, didn't didn't play well enough. Period. Mark, why do you think your voice is not getting heard? Well, I I, I don't know. Uh, you know, I think they hear me talk a lot, and uh, you know, I, I clearly you know try to work extremely hard on messaging, and um, you know, and and getting through to them and I think they have responded since the, you know early in the year and and uh, you know I hope they have the same response right now this league is very difficult right now you okay. haven't noticed you know I think it's pretty tough on, on a lot of people and if you don't come and play well you will lose and uh, I think you know everybody we all we all know that we all feel that as coaches you know and uh, so um, and I don't know if it's not being heard. I wouldn't say that. You said that, and you're you're allowed to say whatever you want. Um, you know, I feel I still feel like this team will respond the right way, and that uh, will continue uh, to grind over this team to put them in a position to be successful. Okay, folks, thank you very much. Uh, I need to go. go We've got players and coaches in that. I mean, go I think you were the least penalized team in the FCC coming into the game. Yes. You, how many of the, when you get in a situation like this? How many of them were? Only that of frustration when you're in a game and you're behind and you're trying to catch up. And I think it's a fair, you know, point. I think our guys were were frustrated. Um, things happen in games, in that pile and in that in that commotion. Um, I'll, I'll just leave it at that. It was no. Uh, that part of it had no bearing on the game, but there were some things going on that were really frustrating for our guys. And That's where you have to keep your composure. Yeah, we do, and I, I don't think that changed the outcome of the game. It could have, it can. You know, it could rear its ugly head at any time if you're undisciplined. But I feel like, um, you know, there was some there was some frustrating aspects of it, and uh, and I think you know, I'm sure I'm going to look at it, and uh, I'm sure I'll feel like some of the you know, fouls could have been very touchy or 50-50, and I'm going to feel like some of them were uh, clearly uh, warranted. Hey, folks, thank you very much. Yep.